Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And if you're on Windows 10, uh, 21H2, 22H2, you have available today the optional updates for the uh, release preview updates that they call or the C-band updates, which are bug fixing updates that are released every month. And so today, of course, it is that. You can actually check them out by going into your settings, going into your Windows updates, and you will see an optional update that's going to be called, um, so the release preview update, it's optional, it's going to, you have to download and install button, it doesn't install automatically. The update number is KB5019275, and uh, well, that is the uh, C-band updates that are for bug fixes. So I've installed it today here, as you see it on my Windows 10 22H2 machine. Um, so what does that do and what exactly is that as an update? Well, basically this is a update that uh, has a few bug fixes in them. There's one little thing that it adds. So um, if you go to the, uh, if you're a subscriber, um, for OneDrive and for the storage of OneDrive uh, on the system page in the settings app there will be alerts that will show you if your storage is full or close to being full and so on so the uh, the OneDrive will give you um, some alerts uh, from now on on the uh, on the uh, app uh, if there is something to uh, that's not right um, and if you have uh, no more space left and stuff like that. So uh, it's going to give you the information about, um, you know, when you're close to your limit and so on. Uh, what else did they do? Well, they have uh, fixed one thing about the uh, feature, the news and interest feature, where the, um, I the, actually the kind of the, the writing on the uh, taskbar might flicker and so on, and File Explorer might stop responding. It all goes together. So this is one of the things they fixed there. They also fixed a lot of things that are similar to Windows 11, the uh, search indexer that randomly stops you from signing in or out. Conhost.exe stops responding. Uh, domain name system suffix search list. Uh, that might be missing if you configure uh, parent domains. Um, add support for long URL links, um, up to 8,196 characters. Uh, there is, of course, the an update for the um, um, input method editor that might stop responding if you use the mouse and keyboard at the same time. There's a task view problem that causes desktop to stop responding that they fixed. Also, um, certain HD controller hardware might damage memory for some reason. msinfo.exe that reports wrong enforcement and status of the Windows Defender uh, control. Uh, another one that has to do with firmware trusted platform modules uh, for some hardware that uh, just don't work um, automatically. So they fixed a few little things like that. Uh, what else there is here? Let me check. Um, there's nothing much more uh, here to talk about the ReFS, stuff like that. Um, there's the uh, famous problem of the printing if you are using the Windows Defender application guard. That won't be correct in uh, landscape mode. So uh, with Edge. So things like that. Uh, things that maybe a lot of people not even noticed. But uh, these are the uh, main things that it fixes through your uh, Windows 10, 21H2, and 22H2. Now, if we look at the version of Windows where you should be on Windows 10 with the WinVer command, you will be at 19.044 for 21H2 or 19.045 and 22H2 and the ending, which is the same, 25.46. You're at 2546, you are there. You got no problems. You have everything works fine. You can ignore these updates. It will install anyways 
when you get the Patch Tuesday security updates in February. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.